Bleatings from Mocha Yarns. Hello. On today's video, Janet is going to talk to you about making dishcloths and the different stitches with all the stitches you already know. And as an extra bonus, she's going to show you how to make covers for your Swifter mopper thing. All, all the patterns we'll post, we'll post online. Yes. Um, but we'll just show you how to do it today. I'm very visual, and so I'm. And so am I. I, I, I like to see. to see it, but I also like to have it in my hand too. And I also wondered if these would fit on. I have a Norwex cleaner mop. I'll show you it. It is right here. Sorry, I didn't dismantle it, but it looks like this. And it also has a, you know, comes with a. A scrubber and a duster but I would love to have one of these because this can be both you can dust that floor and then clean it up and then wet it and wash the floor all with the same oh, you, and, and, and like we have a wet we have a, a wet, wet swiffer mop, right. and so um, I, I've got a bigger one that I didn't bring because it's wet but I know the, the one that has a spray. The, yeah, that yeah. fits on the wet one. Um, so these are all these are all just great. I'll go over the dishcloths first, and we'll. It's very simple, and most of you probably know these stitches. These are just dishcloths. I and I make dishcloths smaller. And I was just saying to Monica, mm -hmm. I make them smaller. I don't have big hands, but sometimes my hands ache and I can't squeeze as much as I want. So a smaller dishcloth for me mm -hmm. is just way better than a big one. So and again, before Janet starts this, I want to remind you, if you're looking at this and you feel like you're, we're speaking um, Mars, Martian to you, the stitches in all of these beautiful dishcloths are all the stitches we've already shown you at the beginning of these videos so go back and review and get in touch with your stitches again and you'll be able to create and ask any questions yes ask us anything. if we can make if we can make another short video and show you it again mm -hmm. we can do that that's not that's not a problem okay these dishcloths it's soft cotton they're made with this handicraft cotton you can make it with whatever cotton you want I've actually got one here that's very simple that's done with those little balls of cotton two together uh, just a small simple small I love simple the colors one. that's so pretty but uh, this one we have three dishcloths here we have this one that's the basket weave that's really easy it's just knit and purl and i'll we'll put all the pat we'll put all the patterns up there it's uh, very it's very simple and i know if to for people who are knitters think yeah yeah easy those people who are just learning well you look at it and think can i do that yes you can yeah. so we'll put the pattern we'll put the pattern on the web page for that really simple and i just cast on 32 stitches if you want to just knit every row or if you want to purl or you can do whatever you want but i use 32 stitches i knit four rows and i have knitted at each end just it holds it together better so this one is moss stitch, single moss stitch. Some people call it seed stitch. Mm -hmm. I call it moss stitch. And all it is, it's alternate knit one purl one. Yeah, you, you purl it's, over the knit yeah. and you knit over the purl. This is my absolute favorite stitch of all the knit. I don't know why. I love it. I have yeah. a sweater made out of that. It's lovely. It, it's, and it makes a good dishcloth. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, and this is a double seed stitch or moss stitch and all this is you do two pearls on top of each other and two knits on top of each other very very simple it's like ribbing except you're not lining it up as as in right. ribs we will put the patterns on so this is just done like I say with the regular handicraft cotton and I do have another couple of dishcloths here they're made with the scrubby mixed yarn that's got scrubby and the cotton. So these ones are made, like I say, with this handicraft scrubby yarn. So much cotton and so much scrubby. Um, 
I, I like it. I like it better for the mops than the dishcloths, but it's still okay. It's still okay. So there's the dishcloths. Next thing is mop covers. There's, I've got different ways for mop covers. Here's my Swiffer mop. There's the bottom of it. And here's the top of it. And you just make... I, I can sew in the edges. I just forgot on this one. Um, but uh, it's very simple. And you just take them off and wash them. They'll go in the washing machine. Now, I, I wouldn't put it in the dryer. Oh, how come? Because of this yarn, I'm not sure. I've not. Oh, that. I've not put okay. it in the dryer, so I don't want to say put so it in that's the dryer. That scrub off yarn. Yeah, I don't okay. know. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, that's the that's the mop cover, and it's really again really easy. We'll put the pattern on the web page. This is what you need it to look like. You cast on your stitches there, you cast on extra here, you cast them off there and you carry on. Very simple, all done in one piece. Cool. And then you just stitch them over like that and your mop fits right in. Very. Did you design this, Janet? Um, I'd seen I'd seen some on the internet, but they look too complicated oh, for me. So you made it. So simple. you know me, I like things easy. I, and that's just straight garter stitch. That's that is straight garter stitch. You can do it in whatever stitch you want. I find it's easier to do it that way. And this was done with those mini balls, balls of, of cotton, them, right? and I think this took four of them. Okay. Um, and so that that was done with that. So that that's one mop cover. Love that. I have another one that's the mini yarns too so your mop you oh, can see on this your mop just fits in there and you just put it on and take it off and depending what mop it is like these are I kind of measured this on the Swiffer mm -hmm. so all you need to do is measure your mop and you make your you make your middle of your mop to fit your mop exactly the size. Uh, yeah and so what I'll give you the basic outline of what I did but you just adjust it to fit so your for mop. my um, Norwex mop, when, can I see the red one? Yeah. So when I go to make this here, you um, would. So I would cast on here and do all this. Once I get here, you wouldn't put as many stitches on here. Got you. You'd probably put five less stitches on. Yes, and then I still these two are still the same size. Well, correct? these they, this just has to be the same size as, as this. this. And this is just a little yeah. shorter in yeah. here. And really, you don't need them as big as this. I like yeah, them as yeah, big yeah. as this so it doesn't slip. And it won't come off. But you don't need to do that. Okay. I have one that's crocheted. Oh, wow. And again, that's done with the mini. That's done with the mini cottons, four of them. So that's, that's, another, that's another one that I've got there. And like I said, these are great. You just take them off and wash them. Another one. There's another one there. So you got fancy with the yeah. stitches here. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what? It, what? Whatever you feel, whatever you feel like. And you know what? I probably didn't mean to get fancy. It probably I was just watching TV. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know what can I? What can I say? And this all is also a way to repurpose and to save on save money. Number one. Yeah. And to save on garbage because you throw those yeah. little Swiffer. What are they called? The little pads. Yeah. I don't have a Swiffer. I have a Norwex, but I imagine they're they're expensive. The, the main thing is what you've got to what you've got to look at is the shape of how it wants to be. Yes. So just take the shape of how it wants to be, and then you just work it out from there. Like I say, the pattern will be on there, and you just adjust it. So simple. That's another. That's another one. And then what's this one? Oh, that's that's so another one together. I have there. That's just a Swiffer one done. Now I think I like this. I think I like this yarn for the mop covers. Yes, and it also has the scrubby feature. Yeah, it does. It does, and I must say they work absolutely great. In our family, what we do is we knit a dishcloth, which is a face cloth to start off with. Yes, <laughs> and then it becomes. A dish. Then it becomes a dishcloth. And then when it's had its time being the dishcloth, it becomes a floor cloth. Yeah, exactly. So these, in our family, these these are really, really well used. And ours become car wash cloths. Oh, never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, because as it, you know how they start to 
break down a bit because yeah. you've used it so much. So I just put them in a bag for Richard for the car. Yeah, I do. He I, loves them because the car. You could make the, you know, the little scrubbies? Yes. You could make them out of this soft cotton as well. And imagine what a nice gift here to give oh, somebody. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Yeah. With some scrubby. Okay. So that's us all scrubbed up for this week. <laughs> So in the last video, you learned all about scrubbies. In this video, it's dishcloths and floor covers like Swiffer or Norwex or whatever those, you have. Yeah, whatever you have. Floor covers. So just as Janet stated, they will be listed at mochayarns.com. There is a link for free. I hope you guys enjoyed these two videos and I hope you appreciate that we're trying to get your bodies and houses and showers just sparkly clean and your cars too so uh, thank you so much for watching and bye, bye for now, now.